Corp. We've lost contact with the colony on LV-426. Take Gorman and his team to investigate. We don't want anyone to learn that the company has deliberately infected colonists in order to smuggle alien specimens past ICC quarantine. Yes, sir. It's imperative that you get Ripley to trust you. She's familiar with the Xenomorph, and we may need her help to bring one out alive. Understood. All right, understand this. Bioweapons Division had orders to eliminate anyone who attempts to interfere. Obviously, they won't be aware of your team's mission. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Movie and TV James Games and yes this is Alien Trilogy on the PS1 now. Alien films. Alien, well it's going to be this year it's celebrating its 45th anniversary. Part of the reason why I'm playing this game now could have gone with like Alien 3 on NES or the Mega Drive or Super Nintendo but I thought Let's go with Alien Trilogy. You know what? I could have even gone with Alien Isolation. But the game's pretty long, isn't it? Pretty damn long. But anyway, yes, we're going with Alien Trilogy on the PS1 to celebrate the 45th anniversary of the Alien series being born. Thank you very much, Ridley Scott. But, you know, as you can see from the demo, this is like first-person shooter style and you get to basically shoot a load of shit. It's going to be dark, it's going to be gritty. It's going to be just like Doom, hopefully without getting lost as much as I did. We're going to be running around, we're going to be shooting everything, and yeah, that's where we're going to take it. So, without further ado, let's kill some Xenomorphs. Alright then, so, incoming data transfer mission brief. You are advised to clear the entrance for the Marine Drop Crew by removing crate and barrel barricades and dispatching any Xenomorphs you may encounter. Note that due to the protective design of the barrels for transportation, your 9mm will be ineffective in their removal. Search out alternative means. So not exactly the most uh, exciting start to a game, but hey, it is what it is. Right, okay, so, right, where am I? Okay, so I'm in a loading bay. Okay, that fires the gun. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's, uh, god damn, this is dark already. And we already killed one of the sons of bitches. Right, get out of my way. I'm in the mood for killing xenomorphs or face huggers. Right, okay. Seeing as this is supremely dark, my after. Oh! Boom, boom, boom! Sucker! It's like I am taking things very, very slowly at stairs. Yeah, that's what I Little shit. Decided to come out of me from nowhere. I saw something on the map. My little radar. Right, okay. So if I remember from the demo, it was like, head over here. And then go. Boom. Door powered up. Sweet nut. So getting somewhere. Right, okay. Let's try. You know it's always weird. Oh. Where have you gone? Must be outside. Outside the door now. Right, okay. Anyway. Auto mapper. Sweet. That sounds like a good thing. But yes, the alien movies. 
So, let's talk alien movies, shall we? So, we're not going to talk about Prometheus because I know how a lot of people feel about Prometheus, you know. How some people are like, oh, but it's the X, Y, Z, it's not good. It's, a... it's like, leave it alone. I mean, it was better than Alien Resurrection. Marginally better. Oh, hello. Hello. How do, how do I change my weapon? I want to change my weapon. <laughs> you know, it was marginally better than Alien 3. It's not the worst. Alien Covenant was alright. I mean, y'all people wanted, like, what happens if I shoot? Boom! <laughs> Big explosions. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, look. What the fuck? Ah! My first real xenomorph. And the dude fucked me up. Wow, I'm really taking this slow now. But yeah, it's like, look, when it came when it comes to the alien movies, God's sake. Boom. Okay, running low there. So we're gonna switch back to the handgun. Where are you? You little gobshite. Oh my god, I need some ammo or else I am going to die quite badly. Ah, hello, medikit. A battery. What's this? More shotgun shells. Yes, boy. Ooh, the shotgun shells. Can I have, more? Can I have another medikit, please? That would be very, very nice. But yeah, like, with Alien Covenant and Prometheus, it's like, look... You people wanted to see a movie about, like, you know, the space jockeys and blah, 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 right? So you got what you wanted, and then you say it's shit, you know? And then there's... Then you're just like, oh, but it's not an alien movie because, like, the xenomorph looks different. It's like, okay, so what did they do? And they went ahead and they rectified that. They gave you an alien movie that is effectively an alien movie. It's just... It was just a 2018 whatever year version of... Uh, like alien you know all over again but it's a continuation from Prometheus you know which door do I need to go through if I need to go through anywhere here um, you know and you didn't like it it's like okay so Sorry, I just needed to kill the face huggers. God, this is so dark, I can barely see a thing. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, you wanted an alien movie because you didn't like Prometheus, right? And then you got your alien movie and you didn't even like that. Alien Covenant is still better than Resurrection. Maybe not as good as Alien 3. Alien 3 was plagued with a lot of like you know behind the scenes issues and stuff and I feel really bad for David Fincher for you know the experience that he went through on Alien 3 so many rewrites so many this and that going wrong budgets and shit like that it's just like damn son so you went through hell and Like you went through hell and back to I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. You know, it's like you went through hell and back to get that movie done. Yeah, you're dead. Dead, bitch. You know, you went through hell and back to get that movie done. So well done to you. Alien and Aliens are still hands down one or two of the greatest movies ever made. End of discussion. 
I love how they explode. You know, they're still two of the greatest movies ever made. Like, end of discussion on that front. Anyone who disagrees, then sorry, but you're wrong. Um, and I love Alien. You know, uh, Alien and Aliens. Again, as I was saying about, say, like, with Terminator 2. Like, it should have just been a... Oh, okay, I'm going somewhere, but I have no idea when. There's something behind me. Is it dead? I think it's dead. It's not on my radar anymore, unless the little fucker decided to scuttle away. God, this is way too dark for my liking. Awesome. Phew. Well, we got out of that one alive. Sort of. Wow, look at that password. That is nuts. That is bonkers. But yeah, uh, before I get on to the next level, like, yeah, you know, Alien and Aliens, like I said in my Terminator 2 video, um, it's... It's another perfect one-two punch. You didn't really need Alien 3. Um, but again, I get why they did it. Uh, Alien Resurrection, you really didn't need. Prometheus, it's like, again, you wanted a story about the space jockey. You know, the creators or whatever that they're called, I forget. You got that and then you were disappointed with it. You got pissy because you wanted an Alien movie. And then you got an alien movie and you still got pissy about it. You know? It's one of them things. It's like, what do you want? What do you want? I don't know. I don't know these days. But yeah, Alien and Aliens, great movie. Like, I'm sorry about getting a bit, you know, aggy about, you know, people's opinions on Prometheus and Alien Covenant. Because, like, they're not bad movies. That's the thing. I mean, like... Again, let's put this in relation to, say, like, the Terminator franchise. Each movie has progressively got worse. Outside of Dark Fate, from my understanding. I still haven't watched it, to be quite frank. You know, but it's like, each movie got... Each sequel after Terminator 2 progressively got worse. You know? And Dark Fate was supposed to be that reboot, just like Prometheus and then Alien Covenant was supposed to be the reboot of the Alien, for the Alien franchise. But there's only a number of ways you can send a cyborg back in time and an alien killing a crew, right? It's now one of them things where, you know what? Leave it. Just leave it. For the love of God. Or if you're going to do it, do it right. You know? But Prometheus, Alien Covenant, they're not that bad. You know? Stop getting pissy about it. It's not Batman and Robin. Okay? Moving on. Incoming data transfer. Mission brief. You must locate the main junction room and activate all three control panels. This will allow further penetration into the colony. Pick up any seismic survey charges as they are essential for the removal of temporary walls. Well, let's hope for a bit more lighting so I can see where these temporary walls are and to find the seismic survey charges but okay so we got activate three control panels all right and i'm gonna die because i've only got 19 health i mean if i die then what the what killed me Nah, that's cool. Oh, what? Game over? That's bloody horrible. Should have saved it, really, shouldn't I? Or else I was in the middle of my, um... High horse. Oh, well, it is what it is. So, yeah, that's, uh... That's Alien Trilogy. I guess. <laughs> Before this video would go on a bit longer, I'm not going to redo the first level. <laughs> I mean, I've got a better idea on what you need to do, but yeah. I mean, the game plays pretty much exactly like 
Doom, but as a first person shooter, but it's alien. You know what I mean? Is it, you know, it's still a good game. So it, it was very dark and very atmospheric, you know, but it's kind of what you need, what you want sort of deal, you know, when it comes to something like this. But yeah, the alien movies, like, outside of Resurrection, like, they've all been either fantastic, the first two, Alien and Aliens. Aliens is still one of my favourite films of all time, same as Alien. Uh, or they can be, you know, mediocre, but shouldn't really be there. Prometheus and Alien Covenant. Resurrection, it's like, it's not Batman and, Batman and Robin level shit. It's just... It just wasn't a good movie. I mean, like, the only good thing about um alien resurrection in my opinion was uh ron perlman ron perlman was fucking great in that movie i loved it you know and also actually just quick fun fact about the um about alien resurrection actually so you know the sequence where um uh <coughs> the clone ripley is playing basketball and then Ron Perlman goes ahead and challenges her to like a one-on-one -on -one kind of deal. And, you know, basically beats his ass. And as she's walking away, she launches the ball behind him and it goes through the hoop, right? It actually goes in. That is all real. They, and the thing is, it's like Perlman, from my understanding, Perlman and Weaver had a bet that she wouldn't be able to hit it hit that shot so when she hit it and you see Perlman's reaction that is legit it was a legit reaction also speaking of Sigourney Weaver and the Alien movies another fun little fact that I'm going to pull out um, James Cameron lobbied hard extremely hard for Sigourney Weaver to be nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actress um, The Academy in the end if I'm not mistaken, she was not nominated. Uh, just actually, let me have a quick double check. Um, because obviously I don't want to give you false information. So, Aliens. Alright, where's it? Uh, I'm on IMD. Ah, yes, it won two Oscars. It, was, it won... F oh, yes! She was nominated. Well done, you. No, wait, it was Linda Hamilton in Terminator 2 that uh, Cameron lobbied hard for uh, to be nominated. But yes, Sigourney Weaver was nominated for Best Actress in a Leading Role um, for Aliens. And it won for Best Effects, Sound Effects Editing and Best Effects Visual Effects for Aliens. I mean, I'm not surprised. It's fucking awesome. Uh, Aliens, in my opinion, is still one of those game, uh, games, films where... Um, the sequel is arguably better than the original. But the thing is, it's like you, you're kind of comparing apples and pears there. Because yes, even though they're sci-fi movies, one is sci-fi horror, one is sci-fi action. You know? And also, Vasquez is a fucking unit. Vasquez is the best. I loved Vasquez. Vasquez. And when... Who was it? Gorman? No, Gorman was the lieutenant guy. Uh, what was his name? Oh, the weasel businessman. I, I've forgotten his name, but when he gets his, I'm always happy. And also, also, sorry, I'm going to stop giving you the fun facts and do my little outro in just a second. But last thing. So outside of the main characters, so Hudson, Hicks, um, Vasquez, Drake, Everyone else that is part of that marine team, right? If you actually look, their last names are what their last names are in real life. So yeah, Frost. I think it's Frost. His real name, his real last name is Frost. I think, you know. Again, just let me quickly double check my sourcing so I do not mislead you with false facts. If I stand corrected, I will admit I was wrong. Right, let's see. Also, uh, Michael Bean replaced James Remar, if I'm not mistaken. Burke, that's it. And that's the fucking dickhead. Uh, Apone, Drake, Ross. Uh, okay, wait. Spunkmeyer, Dietrich. 
bro. No, I stand corrected. Ignore my little notion about uh, the last names. It might be the first names. I remember reading it somewhere. Uh, now I'm on a mission to bloody find out so I can get my information correct. It's been a while since I thought about aliens facts, you know. Right. Oh god, yeah, actually. I'm on IMDB and I'm looking at the trivia. And there's a lot. Like, there's a lot. I'd be here for a while trying to find it. Um, so yeah, for the time being, just ignore my little notion about... Um, yeah, um, you know, the names. I'm pretty sure there's something in there about it. Anyway, this has been Alien Trilogy on PS1. Similar to Terminator 2, I got up to the second level and then died really quickly. So, I hope you've enjoyed, like, my gushing about the Alien and Aliens movies. You know, the first and the second movie. And have enjoyed the Doom style gameplay, no matter how sure it was, and my facts and everything like that. You know, gotta pad this video out somehow. Anyway, so thank you very much for joining me on this episode of Movie and TV James Games. As always, if you liked the video, give it a like, share the video as well, because more shares, more views, and more views, more that the channel continues to grow. And the more that I get to do this for you, subscribe to Well Minus One Entertainment if this is your first time on the channel. Don't forget to check out all of the other content that is currently available because you never know there might be something that you like if you do subscribe hit that notification bell so you are notified about any and all content that goes live onto the channel drop a comment below did you play this game do you like this game do you think this is one of the better alien games that has been released um you know and tell me about your feelings about the alien franchise do you agree with me and my gripes or with my gushing you know let's have a chat and everything like that so yeah thank you very much for joining me on this episode of movie and tv james games and i will see you next time for some more lights camera action gameplay take it easy everyone